First on Local 10, some bold burglars breaking into the Birdhouse Pet Store in Davie. And they were able to steal more than 150 birds valued at about $75,000. And Local 10 News reporter Syra Onwar is live in Davie this midday for us. She has new reaction to that theft, Syra. So Janice and Christy, the store owner here in Davie is still devastated over what happened. But he says he's also touched by the outpouring of support he's received since we first told you this horrible story yesterday. But now we still need to find these birds and we still need to catch the criminals who stole them. People, I don't even know. They're calling me. A morning after we told you about the burglary to the birdhouse in Davie, store owner Charlie Hong says he's received an outpouring of kindness. Thank everyone for giving me a support. Such a... I don't know how to describe it. Overnight Monday, burglars breaking in through the roof of Hong's business and stealing 157 birds valued at $75,500. This surveillance clip shows someone taking off with cages. FWC back on the scene today, taking down descriptions of the stolen birds. Sun Conyers, Green Cheek Conyers, Eclectus Parrots, Quaker Parrots, a Jardine Parrot, Cockatiels, even baby birds all gone. They take everything away from me last 15 years. Friends of Hong stopping by the store early this morning to offer help and consolation. He loved his birds and he's been doing this for so many years. But what's going to happen to the birds and how can you help? I asked Ron McGill of Zoo Miami, who's familiar with this type of crime. These animals are probably going to put into a black market so. McGill says exotic birds do not make ideal pets, but their allure creates an underground market second only to narcotics trade. He says keep an eye out for recent listings for birds in online marketplaces. And he points out that these birds are not quiet creatures. People need to keep their ears out. If you start hearing a bunch of these birds all of a sudden that you didn't hear before, ask questions. How did they get there? McGill says he doubts the crooks have experience with birds and will likely try to sell them quickly and cheaply. My huge concern is the people who stole them know nothing about the birds. They're just looking at the money and they're not giving the birds the care that they need and it could be really threatening their lives. So if you want to help out this now struggling business owner, we do have a link to an online fundraiser on local10.com. But if you have any information, if you see or hear anything about these birds, you should call Broward Crime Stoppers. That number is 954-493-TIPS. Reporting live in Davie, Syrah Onwork, Local 10 News.